through martyrdom. A Biblical Interpretation Martyr A person who is put to death or endures great suffering on behalf of any belief, principle, or cause. The Bible reveals that, towards the end of days, a great many Christian Jews and Christian Gentiles will suffer martyrdom before the return of the Messiah, Jesus. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony of Jesus, and because of the Word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or his image, and they came to life, and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. According to the Bible, a martyr is an innocent person who suffers, or who dies, solely for his faith, without committing violence against others. Consider four examples. 1. Jesus Christ. The Roman authorities crucified him, in spite of the fact that the governor, Ponce Pilate, had declared about him, I find no guilt in him. 2. Stephen, the first Christian Jew to be martyred, by a mob of Jews who stoned him, proclaimed, Behold, I see the heavens opened up, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. 3. James, Herod the king laid hands on some who belonged to the church, in order to mistreat them and he had James, the brother of John, put to death with a sword. 4. Antipas, the resurrected Christ sent a message to a community of Christian Gentiles, at Pergamum in Asia Minor, I know where you dwell, where Satan's throne is, and you hold fast my name, and did not deny my faith, even in the days of Antipas, my witness my faithful one, who was killed among you, where Satan dwells. In contrast, a person who dies, while committing a violent act against others, is in no way a martyr. He remains a murderer. And God will judge him for his crimes, for no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. Do not fear martyrdom. Here is the perseverance of the saints who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, so that they may rest from their labors, for their deeds follow with them.